Welcome and thank you for watching this training video on the reason for visit and history of presenting illness window. To begin, the history of presenting illness by default has been provided by the patient. If the history of presenting illness is being provided by a relative or another member of the patient's family, simply choose the corresponding item from this drop-down list. A referring physician will automatically be displayed in the referred by box if the patient has a referring physician documented on the demographic screen. To add a referring physician now, simply click the green plus sign to add a referring physician by using your referring physician search. There are multiple ways to get data into the reason for visit or the history of presenting illness box. You can use a previous HPI by clicking on previous HPI. Here it will show you the previous dates of service that you've seen the patient as well as the beginning of the HPI for that date of service. Double click on that HPI to select that HPI for today's visit. Now you can go ahead and make changes to the required items as well as add new changes here. The system is automatically going to spell check words for you which you can right click to correct the spelling. Another way to get data into the system is to use dictation. Using Dragon Medical 10, you can dictate an entire reason for a visit or a history of presenting illness. Let's take a look at how this works. Using Dragon, I will go ahead and turn on my microphone, cough, fever, and chest pain. The patient presents today with a history of cough, chest pain, and a fever that has lasted for two weeks. Period. New paragraph. The chest pain is centrally located, burning, itching, and heavy. The cough is a non-productive cough that produces no phlegm but extensive hacking. Period. The patient's fever has hovered around 101 degrees for approximately two days. The patient has not been drinking Scratch that. Period. The patient has not been drinking the necessary amounts of water, but he has been sweating excessively. Period. Now that I've turned off the dragon, you can quickly see that using dictation, it's pretty straightforward to get material into the reason for visit and history of presenting illness. Let's take a look at some of the other options. You can also use the history of presenting illness templates that come pre-populated with the system. Here, click on the item for history of presenting illness to open up the template control. On the left hand side, you'll see a series of categories. Select the category of your choice and click on the specific template. Here we can see this is a template for chest pain. At the top section, we have our template control and at the bottom we have a preview. Let's go ahead and begin selecting parts of this template. We can say that the patient presents today with central chest pain which started two weeks ago. It is gradual and onset, intermittent, squeezing, crushing, heavy, aching in nature, and it is a 4 out of 10 in intensity. It radiates to the jaw, left arm, and the shoulder blades, and is precipitated by movement, breathing, and it's relieved by rest and over-the-counter medications. The patient reports shortness of breath, increased sweating, dizziness, and there is a history of smoking and diabetes. You can see that by using these templates, it's pretty quick and easy to get notes into the system. Also, one benefit over dictation is that you don't need to be in a quiet room in order to make your entries. You can also update your template quickly and easily by simply typing in new items into this top section of the chart. Let's go ahead and add one more item into this template. Here, I'll add a sentence about how frequently this pain returns. We can say that the pain returns every, and then I could use my variable for time. Simply put the word time inside a pair of brackets, and the system will automatically allow you now to choose a time variable. 
Here we can see that the pain returns every two hours. This will now become a permanent part of the template when you click the Save button. Clicking Apply will automatically add this template to today's visit. Before we apply this template, we can also use other templates. For example, if I want to use a template to describe the abdominal pain, I can just choose a template for abdominal pain and then make my necessary selections. There are templates for many different specialties. If your specialties are not displayed on this template list, simply give us a call and we can add those templates to your system. Click Apply when you're finished to apply that template to today's visit. If you want to make any modifications, you can do that right from this window. Once you're finished, click the OK button to add the HPI and the reason for visit to today's note. Do you have any questions about the training video that you just watched? Give our technical support a call. The call is free, and technical support is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Thank you.